Now, Phil, you've won five world championships on motorbikes. You're married, you've got a beautiful home in Surrey. In short, you're a very successful man. Why do you want to start at the bottom again, racing on four wheels? Well, I suppose um, it's another challenge, in a way, to, um, to see if I can um, adapt myself to racing a, a car. And Certes has done it, and Harold has done it, but uh, I've, um, I've never driven a single-seater car before in my life, and, uh, and through Ken Tyrrell I've um, got this chance to, uh, to come down here to, to give it a go. Now, today you've got Ken Tyrrell, the acknowledged world's best expert, talent spotter, coming down to see you in your first ever drive. Wouldn't you have preferred to have been on your own for the first time in a racing car? Um, yes, I would really. <laughs> but, yes, I've got to uh, take it quite easily and uh, steadily today. You know, I've, um, I've heard of Surtees and his initial um, drive in a car, spinning it off and how it would too. Well, I don't want to make that mistake today. How nervous are you? Um, I'll tell you after I've done a few laps. <laughs> I should need that too. Do racing motorcyclists have any advantages over anybody else who's starting to go motor racing on four wheels? Yeah, well, they do really because they've had so much experience of uh, what racing is all about. It's not that much different to go from a motorcycle to a car, so they, they start with a, yeah. uh, some advantage. What, uh, what can you look for in a novice driver? How can a novice driver go out and really impress you? Well, you, you can't really do that in one short test session. Um, you really want to see him do a few races to see how he, how he reacts to being in traffic, to see whether he can stand the pressure of being pushed from behind, which a lot of drivers can't. Yes. You really can't do it in just a single test session. But in a, in a session like the one we're having here today, you're looking for um, lap times which are consistent rather than yes. a few quick ones, then a few spins. You know, we want And some slow ones. That's right. If you want a driver to join your team, whatever class of racing you're taking part in, you want to you really want to know that he's going to have some time with the team, not just one season. And so you really got to try and pick them early. And uh, it's nice if you can run a Formula Three car as, as well as a Formula One team, so that they can, you can take the driver from your Formula Three team into your Formula One team. Yes, that, for instance, would be an ideal situation. So you'd like really your own sort of nursery of up-and-coming racing drivers? That's right, yes. You're really progressing into Formula One. Yes, you've got, you've got to catch them young. You've, you've got to be able to, I think, when a driver is young, he's, he can then be taught the way that you think racing should be done. Mm -hmm. yeah, quite apart from on the track itself, only the driver can drive the car, yes. but the manager yeah. can help him to uh, look after himself and prepare himself for, for the big races. It's a bloody better getting used to, doesn't it? You seem to be going so far. Really. Oh. Phil, that was your first laps in a Formula Ford. How did you enjoy it? Well, that was um, terrific fun, and uh, you know, I learned a hell of a lot. You know, like I appreciate, um, you know, how fantastic Jackie Stewart and Graham Hill and all the ace drivers are. Really. Do you feel satisfied with yourself, your own performance? <laughs> um, well, not really. No. Um, you know, I sort of got my times down steadily, but, you know, I'd like to have the car to fit me better, you know. I, mm -hmm. I wouldn't feel happy going out and doing um, faster laps, you know, with the car not feeling right. Uh, Ken, what's your opinion? Well, this is the first time he's ever sat in a racing car. The car is not very comfortable for him. He can't reach the pedals properly, and his, the seat is not moulded to his shape and he's put up a, what I think is an incredibly good time. He's within four seconds of the lap record and his first time in a single-seater racing car, I think it's a very fine performance indeed.